Oh man, so check this out. Yesterday I made the video um, calling out fucking Jason blah blah blah's bitch ass, right? And uh, I even made it clear, um, you know what I'm saying? I fucking emailed this dude, let him know I called him out and all this shit. And people, um, you know what I'm saying? Like I got one dude hit me up talking about, oh my God, I looked this motherfucker up, be a jokey crazy, and all of a sudden I get this fucking reply from somebody talking about, you a bitch ass punk, and I'm like, what the fuck, why is this dude supporting Jason Blaha, right, and I look, and it's the same little fucking skinny little punk, call himself Anderson Fitness, he like a buck fucking 25 wet in boots, right, Okay, so this is the same little kid who's making these conspiracy videos talking about um, Mack Truck and Chanel conspired to kill Rich with laced cocaine and this, that, and the other. Sitting behind his little fake-ass Howard Stern desk and stuff. So now this motherfucker trying to send me all kind of fucking... Um, like hate replies and shit trying to make me mad I don't know if he's trying to goat me into like offering him a challenge but like homie check it out ain't gonna happen son you like a dollar twenty seriously you might be fucking what 24 years old wet fucking wearing boots probably 130 pounds at most um I didn't realize it was the same dude so like a few days ago, like I said at first in one of my videos, I was like, man, who's this cat? Like trying to make it sound like uh, Mack Truck is going to leave his family, get with Chanel, say they met at the gym and all this fucking shit, man. And then this morning when I checked YouTube out, I'm looking and there's like, there's like another one where he's talking about it again, talking about this big um, conspiracy that Chanel and Mac truck put together but see you don't know nothing about rich he gonna call me a fake say I'm I'm a, a rich piano wannabe I don't really see how like I don't do anything that rich did on my videos whatsoever but um sure I'm a rich piano wannabe I, I couldn't say I would want to be anybody else but rich you're absolutely right um, I certainly wouldn't want to be Anderson fitness little skinny ass um, this motherfucker could dress up like a girl on Halloween and people would believe it was really so little. Um, anyway, I didn't know who it was, right? So I'm like, look, and I go to Anderson Fitness Channel, I'm like, why is this dude supporting Jason Blah? But it's not. He's mad because I fucking um, posted on one of his uh, conspiracy videos. I was like, hey, man, um, I know you're just joking around. Cause I thought he was like for, for real. Like I thought, I thought he was kidding with this shit. Like just in order to like you know, um, not even necessarily get views, but um, you know, just to like you know, light a fire underneath people, whatever you know, stir it up. And all I said to him was, I didn't even say nothing rude. All I said was, it's like, hey man, check it out. Like uh, I knew Rich personally, and I understand what you're trying to do. I know you're joking around, but like, um, respectfully, like Rich hadn't even been gone that long. You should be mourning him if you, you know, if you really miss Rich, because he claims, like in the video, he keeps saying like, "No Rich like I did, no Rich like I did." Well, the only way you knew Rich is because you stand in one of the, you stood in one line at the expo and shook his hand and got your picture taken with him. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't know Rich, you didn't know Rich. <laughs> And then he going to come back on my shit talking about, um, you, you fake, you live in your granny house. I'm like, yeah, man, I, I inherited some shit. Like, um, maybe someday you will too after your balls drop. You know what I mean? Because he's like 20 years old. Um, like, keep in mind, son, I'm, I'm fucking 40 years old. That would, you know, like, if I lived in my granny house, that would make her like over 100 years old. Like, you're not very bright. Um... Anyway, um, it's funny because, like, I didn't even mean any anything by it. I was just saying, like, if you really, you know, he says, like, Rich was his idol and this and that, and I respect that. That's cool. 
I didn't mean anything by what I was saying except for that like, hey man, why don't you not, you know, try to use Rich's name just yet um, in order to get your views and shit. But um, anyway, I just, so um, I'm like, yeah, like this dude, this kid is really mad. Just because I said, like, um, you know, you, you said Rich was your idol, like, why don't you respect his memory, you know, a little bit longer before you start trying to, uh, cause to me, like, what he was doing, I really did think it was a joke. I thought, like, he was just, like, you know, clowning around. And the first time I saw it, I was like, man, why wouldn't you use Big Boy instead of Mack Truck? But then, in the video today, he's talking about all this shit about how, uh, oh, as soon as Rich died, Mac put out this video talking about how, oh, I really did love Rich and da-da-da-da-da, but he was truly at the center of the racist thing. Well, like, here's the thing that you don't know, Anderson Fitness. Um, I don't know if you know this, but, like, Rich had been married, um, you know, before he was married to, uh, to, to Jane. Jane actually, um... Jane owns 5% Nutrition, okay, um, so, like, the time you were talking about, like, will 5% Nutrition live on, like, yeah, it will, because, um, yeah, yeah, you know, Jane owns it, um, anyway, but, like, I'm sure you knew that, if you knew Rich, like you said you did, um, and, um, um, what was he talking about today, oh, uh, that, um, Mack Truck was behind all this racist uh, conspiracy when actually, like, it, it really came from, um, you know, as, as most of you know, like, Rich saying on the phone to, to a previous girlfriend who, you know, hooked up with a, with a black dude, called him a, you know, whatever lover, and, and um, started the whole thing, and, like, it may have been blown out of proportion by people or whatever, but, like, the fact of the matter is, is, like, they also didn't know that he was going to die. You know what I mean? Like, this is YouTube. Like, um, most cats, you know, like Rich and Mac, you know, that have a following and whatnot, you know, like, I don't even, people ain't even watch my shit, you know? Like, I'm just doing this for my own positive outlet type of thing. Um, because I get bored when I'm in Northern California. Oh, and then he, um, um... Yeah, he, like, called me a, called me a, cat, like, a punk-ass coward or something. And I was like, okay. So, like, yeah, I mean, Anderson Fitness, like, man, if you want to come, you know, talk some shit to my face, man, I ain't going, I ain't going to, like, pay your way or give you any money or anything. But, like, you're more than welcome to do it if you want. I'm sure you won't. But, like, if you do, you can make a video of yourself doing it. Like, you know, say, like, look at me, like, I'm a fucking... 130 pound badass, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I got the balls to run up to, to a cat that's 270 and, and run my little skinny ass mouth. Um, <laughs> you know, I felt like, at first I felt like, okay, he's shooting for, he wants me to give him the challenge, right? And then I was like, no, I'm not gonna give him the challenge because that's what he's shooting for. And then I thought, well, maybe I should. And then I was like, no, 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 no. Let's make a video about this cat. Because, like, apparently he's got two channels or something. Because I couldn't figure it out at first. Because I get this hate, you know what I'm saying, from, from like, Anderson Fitness. I'm like, oh, my God, why are you a Blaha supporter? Like, you fake Balor, fake-ass mercenary and all this shit. And then I, I realized when I checked you out, I was like, oh, that's the same kid that's trying to start all this fucking, um, like, conspiracy shit between Chanel and Mac Truck saying they laced his coke with something only someone on growth hormone or PEDs, if they took it, would die, have a heart attack, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he he was saying, like, Mac and Chanel was going to try to, you know, like, get together in six months. He said it's like his predictions were so accurate because he, um, he was the one that first let Rich know that um sarah was a gold digger like junior everybody said that to rich man like are you fucking for real like you didn't let rich know shit like every motherfucker said that to him like everybody fucking everybody said that to rich like cats probably that didn't even know rich probably said that shit to him in the gym um 
But anyway, um, where was I going? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, like I was saying, like Jane um, owns 5% Nutrition. She is Rich's former wife who he, um, that's the, the wife that he cheated on with Amy Waz. And like, if you know Rich like you say you do, um, you would know that like he, you know, had like a, a huge regret over that whole situation. Um, I'm sure you know that though, because you know, you, you knew him like I do, right? Anderson Fitness. Um, anyway, um, Oh, but the the reason I was making that point is because um, I find it a little bit um, laughable considering um, it's my opinion and the opinion of people. Actually, somebody else hit me with this first um, that um, they think that Jane will actually hire Chanel on at uh, 5% nutrition, and I kind of share that opinion. Um, uh, you know, like most of the 5% nutrition athletes are still 5% nutrition athletes. Like, um, I made a video the other day um, saying um, I couldn't remember, you know, like who the silent, you know, like, like the silent type partner was. And I, it's because I couldn't remember Jane's name, and I didn't want to just say, um, you know, Rich's ex-wife. So um, I, uh, I basically like that's what I said. I was like, so, you know, Rich has a silent partner in, in, in the whole five percent thing, and um, yeah, like it'll live on, and no fucking Sarah won't get shit from it because it it ain't, you know, what I'm saying it wasn't like you know it, it's not up for fucking grabs like jane is not dead jane still own it um but i thought it was funny that like he's still saying you know mac and chanel are gonna get together and like all this like i guess like what he's the the i guess what he's trying to say is he thinks they killed rich just to hook up um I, I don't see that, like, I mean, if you, like, show me some solid evidence, like, homie, besides the fact that you're saying, um, you were right when you called Sarah a gold digger, and you're right about this, like, okay, well, like, that's, like, me saying, well, fuck, I was right when I said that it was gonna rain the other day, and I'm right about this, you know, like, yeah, Sarah was a gold digger, it wasn't no big secret to anybody, um, so, like, Anderson Fitness, man, like, look, if you got offended by the fact that I asked you, like, not to use Rich, um, you know, for your for your little conspiracy videos and everything right now, like, man, I'm sorry, but check it out. Um, if you really believe this shit, maybe, I mean, shit, I mean, you know, like, when I read the comments, you know, cats are like, oh my god, I think you're onto something. You know, people believe this shit. Um... But it's like I said, you know, in, 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 the, in the past, like, Matt got a family, Matt got kids, you know, Chanel has allegedly already moved on, you know, I don't really, you know, I don't, I don't know what the fuck Chanel doing, and I don't really think fucking, um, Anderson Fitness, I almost forgot his name, <laughs> little Anderson Fitness dude, but yeah, I guess he got two channels, I guess he got like a fitness channel, where he kind of just basically does a lot of re-upload type of shit. Like, he makes some videos, but that's how I know how literally he is. Um, but he's also got this, like, I guess, news-type fake-ass channel where he sits behind this, like, Howard Stern desk and, like, you know, makes all these predictions and shit. And he's mad. Just basically, like, he's mad. Pretty much the only thing I ever said, I didn't even know this little kid from shit, the only thing I said was, like, please, you know what I'm saying, if you really respected Rich like you say you do, you know, let's not use his name for, for views just yet in your conspiracy theories. Well, this made him mad. He hit me, like, his comment was, like, um, his first comment was, like, fuck you, uh, pussy ass, some shit, uh, da 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 And I was, like, who the fuck? And then I looked, and it's like this little kid that's mad because I called him out on his little conspiracy and shit. So, like, Anderson Fitness, man, check it out, homie. Like, when your balls drop, hit me up. 
You know what I mean? Like, if you want to come, like, I ain't giving you a challenge, but if you want to come talk to me, man, you can. Like, <laughs> I think it's cute. If I offended you, man, I'm sorry, dude. I was just like, I was just saying, man, let's respect Rich a little bit longer. But, like, yeah, keep it real, man. Little Anderson Fitness or whatever the fuck your name is. <laughs>